Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the given matrix. Okay, see the statement of the problem. Find the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors of this matrix. Also, we have to verify that sum of eigenvalues is the trace of A. Okay, after getting eigenvalues, you have to check that the sum of eigenvalues. Sum means addition. Addition of eigenvalues is trace of A. What is trace of A? Sum of diagonals of the given matrix. And product of the eigenvalues is the determinant of A. We have to prove that these two properties. Okay, see. Once again, I am writing the given matrix in the solution. A is equal to, what is the first row? 5, minus 2, 0, minus 2, 6, 2, 0, 2, 7. Okay. So, first of all, to get eigenvalues, we have to find out the characteristic equation of A. For that purpose, I will find out three values. Very, very first one is trace of A. What is trace of A? Sum of diagonals. 5 plus 6 plus 7. 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 7, 18. You can say this is S1. Next. We have to find out sum of cofactors of diagonals. Sum of cofactors of diagonals in A. Since this is a 3 by 3 matrix, it has three principal diagonals. Each diagonal has a cofactor. We have to find out all cofactors of all three diagonals and we have to add that cofactors. So, what is the mean by cofactor? First of all, we have to find out cofactor of this L, first diagonal element 5. Then you can close first row and first column. You will get a 2 by 2 matrix debt. That minor, that minor is called cofactor. Okay. So, determinant of 6, 2, 2, 7. Similarly, what is the cofactor of 6? You can close the second row and first column. 5, 0, 0, 7. Determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix is called cofactor. Plus cofactor of last element. 5, minus 2, minus 2, 6. Just you can close that row and corresponding column. You will get a 2 by 2 matrix here. Determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix is called cofactor. 5, minus 2, minus 2, 6. Okay. So, 6 7s are 42. Minus 2 2s are 4. Plus 5 7s are 35. Minus 0. Plus 5 6 are 30. Minus 4. Okay. Minus of minus plus. Already minus is there. That's why you will get negative 4. 32 minus 4. 38. Plus 35. Plus 30 minus 4, it would be 26. See. So, 38 plus 35 plus 26. It would be 99. You can say this is S2. Okay, trace of A is S1. Sum of cofactors of diagonals in A is S2. And next, we have to find out determinant of the matrix A. Okay, I will find out this debt A also by using calculator. See, first of all, <coughs> we have to store the matrix. Mode 6. So, we have to put the name as matrix A. We have to give the dimensions. Enter the elements. 5. For every entry, you should operate is equal to symbol. 5 is equal to minus 2 is equal to 0 is there is equal to Again, minus 2 is equal to 6, 2, 0 is equal to, for every entry, you should operate is equal to symbol. Otherwise, element may be not saved in the matrix. 2 is equal to 7. Okay. AC. Just I am clearing the screen. Okay. So, our matrix is stored in shift 4, 3. In this 3, you, our matrix is stored. We need determinant 7. Okay, we need determinant of A. That's why you see the state 7th point. 
7. Debt of shift 4. Our matrix is stored in 3. So close the brackets. So which is 162. In this way we can find out the determinant without any numerical mistakes. S3 save. Okay. Now we have to find out characteristic equation. For that purpose first write the characteristic matrix. The characteristic matrix of A is A minus lambda i. What is the mean by A minus lambda i? Since A is a 3 by 3 matrix you should take i3 here. So just subtract the diagonal elements of the given matrix with lambda only. Remaining elements are same. 5 minus lambda, minus 2, 0, minus 2, 6 minus lambda, 2, 0, 2, 7 minus lambda. Just subtract the diagonal elements of A with lambda. It's enough. Therefore, the characteristic equation of A is already I told you the form of a characteristic equation is determinant of this matrix A minus lambda i3 is equal to 0. So determinant of 5 minus lambda minus 2 0 minus 2 6 minus lambda 2 0 2 7 minus lambda is equal to 0. Don't use ordinary determinant to get this value. I am using a trick here. See, the trick is, since this is a 3 by 3 matrix, first element is lambda q minus s1 into lambda square. What is s1? Trace of a plus s2 into lambda minus alternately you will get positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay. Lambda cube, lambda square term, lambda and constant. This is the shortcut formula to get characteristic, characteristic equation in terms of lambda without finding this original debt. That's why I am finding these all values in starting. S1, S2, S3. So what is lambda cube? Lambda cube means lambda cube. S1 is 18. 18 lambda square plus S2. 99. Without any numerical mistakes, you can easily get this equation. S3. So, the equation in terms of lambda, <coughs> sorry, is called characteristic equation. Okay. In this way, we can easily get the characteristic equation of A. Since given matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix, its characteristic equation is a third degree equation. Don't forget it. The roots of this characteristic equation are known as eigenvalues. Since this is a cubic equation, it has exactly three roots. See, we will find the three roots also by using calculator. Okay. To save the time in our examinations. So mode equation is fifth one. This is a cubic equation. That's why take the fourth point. Now what is a coefficient of lambda cube? 1 is equal to minus 18 is equal to coefficient of lambda is known as c which is 99 is equal to minus 162 is equal to is equal to. So, first root is lambda. First root is lambda is equal to 3 is equal to second eigenvalue is 9 and third root is 6. 3, 9, 6 are the eigenvalues of A. In this way, we can find out the eigenvalues of given matrix. And also in the statement given that verify that sum of eigenvalues is trace of A and product of the eigenvalues is debt A. Okay. If you check these properties, you can conclude that ever self our problem is right or wrong. 
so what is the product product of eigenvalues 3 times of 9 times of 6 okay 6 nines is a 6 nines are 54 54 threes are 162 it would be dead here similarly sum of eigenvalues is equal to 3 plus 9 plus 6 surely you will get trace already we got trace and a dead here so 3 plus 9 12, 12 plus 6 is 18 okay 18 is the trace in this way we can easily verify that our eigenvalues are right or wrong in our examinations now we are going to find out eigenvectors c already you know that for every eigenvalue you can get the eigenvector for the given matrix a since 3, 9, 6 are the eigenvalues. You will get an eigenvector corresponding to 3, corresponding to 9 and an eigenvector corresponding to 6 for the given matrix A. See here. When lambda is equal to 3, then what is the eigenvector? Then the corresponding eigenvector is the non-zero solution. This is the non-zero solution solution of the homogeneous system whose coefficient matrix is a minus lambda i okay the solution the non-zero solution of this homogeneous system is called eigenvector corresponding to lambda here lambda is equal to 3 so a minus 3 i into x is equal to o okay this is not zero this is the null matrix otherwise zero matrix o what is a minus 3i? Look at this coefficient matrix. So, whenever we have lambda in this characteristic matrix, replace lambda is equal to 3. So, you will get 5 minus 3. It would be 2. Minus 2. 0. Minus 2. 6 minus 3. 3. 2. 0. 2. 7 minus 3. It would be 4. x is nothing but column variable matrix which has variables O means column null matrix clearly we are observing that this system has three equations this system has three equations you can solve any two equations surely you will get a non-zero solution that non-zero solution is called eigenvector okay here I am going to solve first two equations you can solve any two equations so you can solve first to two otherwise last two and first and last as you wish solving first two equations in the above system so i am writing x y z first write the y coefficients minus two three next z coefficients zero two write the x coefficients two minus two again y coefficients minus two three this method is very familiar in our intermediate standard okay what are the x values? 2 to the 4, negative 4, negative 0. y by 0, minus 4, z by 3 to the 6, minus into minus plus, already minus is there, 2 to the 4. So x by negative 4, y by negative 4, z by 2. In each and everything, 2 gets cancelled, negative sign also gets cancelled. x by 2 y by 2, z by minus 1. So, x1 is equal to, x, y, z is equal to 2, 2, minus 1. Is the required eigenvector. This is the required eigenvector of A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda is equal to 3. Okay. Now, we have to find out the another eigenvector corresponding to the second eigenvalue lambda is equal to 9 c when lambda is equal to 9 then the corresponding eigenvector 
is the non-zero solution of the system. This is a homogeneous system. A minus lambda i into x is equal to o. But here lambda is 9. A minus 9i into x is equal to o. o. So what is a minus 9i? In this characteristic equation, whenever we have lambda, we should replace it by 9. So 5 minus 9, it would be negative 4. Minus 2, 0. Minus 2, 6 minus 9, minus 3, 2, 0, 2, 7 minus 9, minus 2. Eigen vector is the non-zero solution of this non-homogeneous -homo system. This is not non-homogeneous, this is homogeneous system. <coughs> okay. Now, as usually, you can solve any two equations of the system. Write x, y, z. Write the y coefficients first. Minus 2, minus 3. 0, 2. Minus 4, minus 2. Minus 2, minus 3. By solving above equations, 2 to z are negative 4 minus 0, y by 0, minus of minus 2, 4 z are, just take the cross product. Okay. Minus into minus plus, 4, 3 z are 12, minus 2 to z are 4. Okay. Well, minus into minus plus, already in between we have negative sign. x by negative 4, y by 8, z by 8. 4 gets cancelled. x by minus 1, y by 2 and z by 2. So that's why I am writing x2 is equal to x y z is equal to minus 1, 2, 2 is the required eigenvector of A when lambda is equal to 9. This is the eigenvector of A corresponding to the eigenvalue 9. We have to find out another eigenvalue corresponding to the eigen, another eigenvector corresponding to the lambda is equal to 6. Another eigenvalue is there. C. See the third case to find the eigenvector. When lambda is equal to 6, again we know that the eigenvector is the non-zero solution of this system. So here I am replacing lambda is equal to 6. Already you know that a minus lambda a is this one. Okay. In this one, whenever we have lambda, replace it by 6. So, 5 minus 6 is minus 1. Minus 2, 0 are same. Minus 2, 6 minus 6 is 0. 2, 0, 2. 7 minus 6 is 1. By characteristic matrix, I am obtaining A minus 6i. Don't forget it. Okay. Now, again, this system contains three equations. I am solving the first two equations as usually. You can also solve last two equations as you wish. Okay. By solving... First two equations, I got minus 2, minus, minus 2, 1, minus 2 is the required eigenvector. Some of the members can also written as, if you cancel the negative sign, you will get 2 minus 1, 2. This is also eigenvector of the matrix capital A when lambda is equal to 6. So, in the next video, I will give some more examples on finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the given matrix A. Thank you very much.